Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to focus on block box testing and I am going to talk in detail about what is all about block box testing, what are the different types of uh, testing which is available within the block box testing, various uh, different types of block box testing which I'm going to talk uh, in this video in detail. If you have visited uh, Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your testing skills. We want to understand what is all about block box testing. What is all about block box testing? What is all about block box testing? Block box testing. So the name itself it says you have a box and as a tester you won't be knowing anything what is there inside the box. So when you are seeing as a tester from outside, you just see the box. You won't be seeing what is there inside. Let's take an example. You have a TV box. TV box. Or a television. Right? We can't call it as a television or a TV box. When we are seeing from outside, from when you are seeing from the outside of the TV box, so what are the things we may be seeing? So we may be seeing uh, switches, we may be seeing screen where it displays the uh, visuals or you can see the plug to connect the power, right? So these are the some of the things uh, which you can see from our set. So here as a block box, how the tester is going to test this TV box. So basically the tester need not know what are the ingredients which is made up of this TV. Like uh, inside there could be circuit boards will be there or it could be a lot of uh, um, diodes, resistors. It can have many items within the TV. But as a tester, especially the block box tester, did not know what all the things which is there inside the TV box. Only block box tester will be more interested if I put the plug into the switchboard. If I switch, which, which, if turn it on the TV, will I get the screen with the, all the clear visuals? If I increase the volume, if I increase or decrease the volume whether it works or not. Where if I increase the brightness, increase the brightness or decrease the brightness or volume whether it increases or decreases. If I switch, uh, switch the channels whether it can change the channels or not. So these are the some of the factors which normally test it on block box testing. As I was saying, we are not much worried about internal details of a block box, in this case TV box, television, where we are only concentrated about the external factors, which is whether TV really works or not. I hope uh, you understood uh, the example of a block box testing. And just if you keep the television or a TV box as an example, then you will easily get to know or easily understand what is all about block box listings. So let's move on to understand uh, what are the types of uh, block box uh, testing is available. So what are the types of block, block box testing, right? Let's understand what are the different types of block box testing. So in an higher level, we have a functional testing type and we have a non-functional testing type. So these are the two important uh, types of testing in uh, block box testing. 
one is functional testing and another one is non functional testing the functional testing uh, again if you are talking about uh, further breaking down you have various types of testing again smoke testing where we just validate whatever the bills which we given for us to test before uh, executing detailed test whether application really smokes or not so that kind of testing we call it as a smoke testing or also call it as a sanitary testing before we take it up uh, detailed executions or we return the bill back to the developers so that is all about uh, smoke or sanitary testing so we also do integration testing uh, in the functional uh, testing integration and testing are nothing but uh, when individual components are being tested under unit testing or assembly testing it will further uh, integrate multiple modules into stitch together form an integration let's say module 1 and module b we are going to integrate to form a bigger model model 3 or in the same way model 4 so th this is a time we'll be using the integration testing so where we will be doing integration perspective and we will be validating whether the individual modules are stitched together whether these modules still really works or not that is called as a integration testing then uh, the next type of testing is system testing in the functional testing is nothing but system testing is nothing but we test the entire uh, system let's talk about uh, the tv box example itself the tv box uh, or television will be testing as a whole not at the whether plug is working or not whether volume is working or not or brightness is working or not or uh, channels are able to change or not we are going to test as a whole so that kind of testing we call it as a system testing so that is another type of testing in a functional testing then uh, so we will have regression testing so regression testing uh, uh, is nothing but these are the some of the testing which we do the release by releases it is a group of test cases which we which got accumulated from release and releases and these tests will be executed just to ensure that whether the new functionality which is added into the system doesn't break any of the old things being implemented earlier so this regression guarantees that the new plus old implementations really works well without having any challenges so that is all about regression testing so the next type of uh, functional testing which is user acceptance testing user accept acceptance uh, testing normally this test kind of testing will be done by the PO which is product owner or clients so the our end users so basically uh, this kind of testing will be done uh, to validate uh, whether whatever is implemented or whatever the requirements been provided is really been implemented and it is as per the expectation of the client so this is the final testing will be done and uh, provided the sign up for the production deployment so i hope uh, you understood uh, what is all about functional testing what are the different types of uh, testing which is available under functional testing which is smoke testing or sanitary testing integration testing system testing regression testing and user acceptance testing this is all about functional testing which is coming under block box testing then let's understand so what is all about non-functional testing so non-functional testing here we talk about uh, it is not about an functional perspective but we are talking about uh, the performance perspective or usability perspective so non-functional testing could be performance perspective usability perspective or it could be security aspect of the application 
right or it whether it can be scalable scale it scales or not or uh, if we put more load whether it really uh, st uh, whether it still works or not so this kind of uh, testing we call it as a non functional uh, testing so where uh, in the industry standard for a given website if i wanted to do some operation you should be able to get the response within 3 uh, seconds if anything is coming uh, behind that then there is a performance issues and also we will have to validate on the usability perspective whether uh, the ui bit which is being implemented which is re is it really a user friendly or not if it is not user friendly the will be logging defect because at the end of the day end user is going to use this application that should be user friendly and also uh, you should also be validating the security aspects of the application just to ensure that it is ag free or uh, you should uh, not be a prone to ag the system using uh, various aspects of security uh, low poles you should be able to perform various tests to add guarantee uh there is the uh, not much gaps related to the security issues of those applications so as per the industry standard whether application is really conforms to all the security aspects then let's come to the scalable perspective let's say today we have a web application which just developed for 100 people for a, let's say a bank application today we have 1000 uh, customers maybe tomorrow it will become 2000 customer then 10000 customers or 1 lakh customers now when as uh, number of customers increases your application should be able to handle gracefully if it is not able to handle gracefully that means your application is not able to stay uh, not able to scale based on the increase in the number of users basis or a customer basis that kind of testing is also we are going to perform in the scalability testing then the last kind of uh, non functional uh, testing is load testing where we are going to put the load onto the application in a more uh, staggered approach let's say let's take an example uh, banking application itself in the early morning access the banking is very less as it moves towards the peak time then more people will come and logging to the application and uh, you will have a different uh, loading pattern uh, in accessing the bank application maybe after 5 o'clock not many people are going to access the bank application so there is a regular pattern will be there in accessing a bank application so that kind of load we are going to simulate uh, in this test just to guarantee that your uh, uh, application really uh, does well or not in this situation i hope you understood uh, so what is all about uh, block box testing what are the different uh, examples for the block box testing and also we talked about what are the different types of block box testing and again uh, under uh, different types what are the different types of functional testing and what are the different types of non functional testing i also provided some of the examples in explaining uh, these uh, software testing types i hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video if you enjoyed watching this video please click on like button and if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then please click on the subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care